Hi, welcome to a brief preview of our paper. In this paper, we are going to share with you how we combine our 3D image analysis with the Bayesian filtering techniques and how these filters performed in the tests. We know that in cities, unlossed reception and multipass problems limit the performance of GNSS position. 3D mapping data can be used to predict which signals are lost and which are unlost to aid positioning. And the filtering usually reduces the impact of noise-like errors. So we explore the performance of different filtering algorithms combined with 3D MAGNSS. 3D MAGNSS is a set of algorithms based on hypothesis testing. It starts by predicting satellite visibilities over a range of candidate positions. Then, these candidates are scored by shadow matching and likelihood space ranging, and finally integrated into a solution. We considered two types of filter. In the particle filter, equally weighted particles are used and the sparsity of their distribution determines the likelihood of a region. As a comparison, in the grid filter, particles are distributed uniformly, which directly indicates the probability of their corresponding position being the solution. The velocity and the clock drift are maintained by an EKF weighted with the predicted loss probabilities. To test our algorithms, we used two different datasets. The first dataset was collected in the city of London, and the second one was collected in Canary Wharf. The results show that filtering has a greater impact on mobile positioning than static. While 3D MAGNSS bring more improvements to positioning in denser environments than in more open areas. So 3D MAGNSS filtering should bring maximum benefits to mobile positioning in dense environments. In the vehicle test at Canary Wharf, for example, the 3D MAGNSS filtering reduced the RMS error by about 70% and 60% compared to the single epoch 3D MAGNSS and the filtered conventional GNSS respectively. That's it. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in this topic, you are welcome to read our paper for details. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to email us. Thank you.